In the years leading up to the new millennium, there was a pressing agreement to provide better housing for all by the year, by the year 2000. However, this critical need was routinely overlooked and neglected. The policy was pursued aggressively, but it was undermined by constant administrative changes and shifting priorities. In this report on housing deficit, Destiny Momo takes a look at the potential for the affordable housing and the impact of building demolitions on the real estate sector in Nigeria. Nigeria's housing shortage has reached alarming levels over the past three decades. In 1991, the deficit stood at 7 million units. By 2007, it had risen to 12 million, then 14 million in 2010 and 20 million by 2018. As of 2023, the estimated housing deficit in Nigeria has ballooned to 28 million. Some real estate experts even suggest the shortfall could exceed 50 million units, depending on the data collection methods used. The former permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, Mahmouda Maman, recently stated that the federal government plans to assist vulnerable Nigerians. However, real estate industry leaders have commented on how to reconcile the dreams of Nigerians from before the new millennium. They see the system needs to identify those people who really need an affordable house. Giving even mortgage to these guys, giving installment payment, you not know, damage installment payment to them is also very difficult. Why? Because even their source of income is not stable. So we need to we need to find, find a way to synchronize the system so that even no matter what you're doing, you know how much you earn. Affordable housing in Nigeria is off the roof for the supply is nowhere close. For demolition ongoing either in Lagos or anywhere in, in Nigeria, first thing is that the government is trying to sensitize the sector most times. Even the one that does not have this approval, the Lagos government did not demolish their houses. And before purchasing a house or before building a house, they are sure that that zone is residential zone. Given the high cost of building materials and land in desirable areas, is it still feasible to provide affordable housing options in Nigeria? The financial system in Nigeria is not, is not working well. Reason being that you can't have access to mortgage, you can't have access to uh, uh, government finance. Affordable houses is, is, not, is not really accessible. To be, that's, the reality. that's the reality. How much is a land in Lagos? For instance, a plot of land in Ikoi to be 600 square meter, you'll be hearing 1.5 million per square meter. And if you multiply that, that's billions of naira. It's not affordable. But government can get involved, and the financial industry can also get involved and make it because you must do due diligence. So make sure that you do your due diligence. Don't just be carried away that the structure is beautiful and all of that. The whole population of Nigeria, we have an, a housing deficit of over 25 million housing deficit. How can we churn out at least, maybe for every developer, how can we churn out at least 10,000 houses? So that's why we at Casa Bricks Development, we are also coming into the sector to contribute our own quota and to, you know, make housing affordable and accessible to all. Making housing affordable will be based on, you know, like um, cost of land. It will be based on the development model, you know, explored and also how accessible that program is to um, teaming Nigerians that are looking to own a home. I strongly believe that the government has a major role. So government needs to educate its citizenry. Yes, in other climes, you will see um, policy support. And when they bring out a policy, people are educated, they are enlightened. The recent demolition of buildings in Nigeria, often without proper compensation, has eroded investor trust in the real estate sector. To rebuild confidence and avoid future missteps, 
Key players say the government should implement clear policies and precautionary measures that protect property rights and ensure fair compensation for affected property owners. So we don't even eat. If you have a good bed to lay, you can console, you can condole you, at least take it for some days. You know, but no matter even if you are eating or the food, sleeping under the uh, beer, you know, on without a shelter, it won't be conducive. So I feel like it's something that we can do. And because, because Nigeria is also a developing company, young country. So I think this is the time for us to come in and let us develop it. Actually, any country you see that is developed, real estate is played a major role. Now, we make sure that we may, we would rather if for example now if anything if anybody there are three there are three people involved in this process, the developer, the government and the client. Now, if anybody will suffer in this transaction, it will be real loans, not our client. The Federal Housing Authority, FHA, has allocated approximately 776.15 million naira, which is 19.8% of its 3.94 billion naira 2024 budget for land acquisition and housing construction projects. The impact of this investment remains to be seen. Destiny Mama plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.